I was just shocked by 8,500 people uh, spending thousands of dollars to attend in booths, booths everywhere. There was a, uh, a booth of communicating some type of blockchain, cryptocurrency uh, presentation, but the biggest were IBM and Microsoft. Uh, and I thought that was impressive how much space they took in educating people about the blockchain. At 8.30 in the morning, 3,000 people were in the main hall uh, ready to take notes and at least 40% of them were women. And women at, at, uh, from all over the world. Whereas if I go to an ETF conference, it's dominated by male traders. Uh, I go to a conference, any of these conference, investment conferences that I've traveled all around the world, they're dominated by, by men. Uh, but to me, this is most fascinating because it's 40% women. You know, I thought it was really interesting seeing uh, Genesis Mining uh, trying to educate people about the bankers who are fearful they're losing their jobs and set up a, a, a dot org uh, and they had a protest and it was all simulated and organized. For gift giving, so they say charitable giving has dropped because a lot of people are concerned of fraud. Where's the money going? Well, blockchain uh, is is the validator that the, where the money is going. There's no doubt the enthusiasm in the fund uh, presentation uh, and how to get in the fund business and all the issues you have to deal with was so jam-packed that it's a growing business. There's arbitrage opportunities between exchanges, exchanges globally. There's, there's usually a spread of at least 250 basis points uh, between the coins, so therefore taking the risk of capital, it's worthwhile to get paid for. So Goldman Sachs is going in the business. So I think more and more people are gonna legitimize the business just time and if they actually become more curious to find out more they'll just discover it faster uh, all the applications of blockchain technology uh, where it's going to be used um, I think it's just it's it's in full it's in full motion